These are some very anxious times we're going through, and we all know it. And I'm sure we can all use a little help when it comes to some of this anxiety. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about seven supplements, all natural things that you can take to help reduce the levels of anxiety or help calm this anxiety down in your body. So let's start off with the first one. This is something we may all be taking in some form or another, but that is magnesium. Now magnesium is a mineral that they say about 80% of the population is deficient in. And magnesium is something that's required for over 400 different chemical processes in our bodies. Magnesium is also a natural calmant. It calms your nerves, it calms your body. If you know you have muscle cramps, you know you can take magnesium to help relieve those cramps because it helps relieve some of that tension and tightness in muscles. So magnesium can also be taken as uh, a sleep aid because magnesium, as I said, because it's being a calmant, you can actually take some to help fall asleep. So magnesium is uh, taken about 200 to 400 milligrams a day. Right, you start off slow, take a little bit more. Now, what kind of magnesium should you take? That's another big question I always get. The best ones, or the ones we use in our office and we see have uh, had the best results, are ones that cross what's called the blood brain barrier. So, there's something called magnesium glycinate or magne magnesium threonate. These are the two forms of magnesium that are known to cross the blood brain barrier. So, they actually help protect the brain but also calm the brain down. That's that. Second thing is some. Uh, herb used in Ayurvedic medicine for centuries and it's called ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is an adaptogenic herb. Adaptogenic means it helps your body adapt to uh, stressful situations. Not just stress, because we know stress is another major reason for anxiety. But again, this also helps calm your anxious levels in your body. Ashwagandha has been studied for a very long time and it actually has the same effects as a lot of uh, anxiety medications. So ashwagandha is taken at about 500 milligrams a day. So try some of that. You'll see some of those things everywhere right now. Third one is your fish oil. Fish oil is good for everything. You heard me talk about fish oil for all sorts of things from uh, anti-inflammatory, good for your cardiovascular uh, you know, issues, all sorts of things. But the brain works better in with fat. That's one of the reasons why this whole keto diets are becoming more popular. Ketosis, putting your brain in a form of ketosis means it's using fat as a fuel source. Now, if you already put some of that fat by, you know, taking in some good quality fish oil, your omega-3s, that actually helps calm the brain, calms the brain and also helps it work a little better. So I start off with about 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams a day and you can go up to about three to 5,000 milligrams a day of that. I take personally, I take about three to 5,000 milligrams every single day. Good for the heart, as I said, too. So that's fish oil. Number four would be your vitamin D. We are all familiar with vitamin D, right? It's known for, you know, again, helping people with depression. We talked about that seasonal affective disorder. But vitamin D is not just a vitamin. It's something called a pro-hormone, which means it's used or it's required for the production of almost every hormone in your body. Not only that, vitamin D is required to make neurotransmitters. It also helps protect nerve cells. So you can imagine that vitamin D is again definitely required for that. And as we all know that we're all very deficient in vitamin D. Most of the population is, of course. So again, I always recommend also getting your vitamin D levels checked. But if you're checked and you're low, you want to start off with the recommended allowance is about 1000 IUs, that's your international units, per 25 pounds of body weight. So I'll let you do the math, but it's about 1,000 IUs per 25 pounds of body weight. Now, number five is your B vitamins, B as in boy. So B vitamins are known for a lot of different things. We are, you may be familiar with your B12. B12 is good for nerves, people that have neuropathies or any of those nerve issues, they are told to take B12. So B vitamins, I suggest not just the B12, B complex because they all work together. You take them all, they work much better together. B3 is required for uh, formation of serotonin. Serotonin is uh, one of the hormones or your neurotransmitters that helps calm the brain. B5 is wonderful for the adrenals, which are your stress handling organs. And then there's something called B8, which is inositol, which helps with the conduction of information between the nerves. So again, taking a B complex helps with that. Now, Bs not only stabilize moods, but also give you a good production of energy. So again, we all know if you're anxious and depressed, you're always feeling a little down. Taking some B vitamins actually will give you a little boost or surge of energy. So take some B vitamins. 
Now, the other thing is uh, an amino acid. This is number six, it's L-theanine. L-theanine is an amino acid that's found in green tea. Now, we know that when you take caffeine in coffee, it's a stimulant. Now, when you take green tea, they say oh, you'll feel relaxed or you feel much better. It's because of the L-theanine that's uh, contained in it. Now, this L-theanine has been studied widely in this whole uh, psychology journals. If you look at some of these things, they have shown it to be as effective, as I said, as an antidepressant drug. Now, the good thing is that it does not cause any drowsiness like the way any of those, uh, most of those anti-anxiety drugs do cause. This is as effective taken about, once you ingest it, about 30 minutes. It takes about 30 minutes for it to take effect and it has a very calming effect in the body. Not only just calming for the brain, but it also helps you focus a little better. So for somebody that, you know, again, forget about the anxiety part, ADD, ADHD, any of those kind of things, focus memory issues, L-theanine works really, really well. And again, the way I said, it's all studied. There's a lot of uh, information out there on this, so look for it. Now, L-theanine also helps in uh, the production of dopamine and serotonin. These are your neurotransmitters that are considered calmants. They calm the brain down. So again, if you take some L-theanine at nighttime, if you're having trouble falling asleep or staying asleep, L-theanine may actually help assist in that. Start off with about 200 milligrams of uh, L-theanine and you can go up to about 400. I would not recommend taking more than 400 milligrams without consulting with a doctor. Most of these uh, herbal stuff, I would definitely recommend you talk to a doctor or do your research and make sure it's not going to interfere with any of the medications you may be on because you don't want to take something that's going to upregulate or downregulate any of your medications. Now, the last one, number seven, is another one of my favorites, and that is your probiotics. We all know your gut is considered your body's second brain, or maybe it's about the first brain, I would say, because 90 to 95% of neurotransmitters the chemicals of the brain, neuro, are actually produced in your gut. So, keeping your gut healthy by giving you enough good quality probiotics, you know, the good bacteria, help kind of make, not just make the neurotransmitters, but they also break down any of the toxic bad waste stuff that your body has, and that way your body functions a bit better. So, to have enough neurotransmitters, you need enough good probiotics. So, for probiotics, I suggest taking about 50 or 20 to 40 billion CFUs, B with a billion with a B. So that's quite a bit, I know, but that's what your body requires. And the other thing for that is you want to take something that's called a multi strand, as in it doesn't just contain one or two strands in it, it has about 10, 12, 14 different strands of the beneficial probiotics in it. So again, those are my seven top recommended uh, supplements that I am taking. And I would definitely recommend you start taking some of that and watch and see the effects of these things. They're good for children. I'm not saying this is only good for adults. These are also wonderful for kids because we all know that with the school situations and with everything that we're facing, everyone's got some form of anxiety or something going on. So try some of these, share this information with someone. And again, as I mentioned, if you're taking some kind of medication, I am not saying you need to stop your medication and take my supplements only. These are things that are supplements so they actually aid in certain things that way now as I mentioned there's a lot of things there I have some combination of supplements or uh, things in our office that may contain your ashwagandha your B complex all these things that we're mentioning in one dose so you don't have to worry about taking seven different pills and uh, you know making a meal out of a pill of your pills so hope some of this information's helped uh, you want some more information or you have any questions or comments post them below and as always Catch you on the next video. Thank you.